Top five 90s movies about ninjas. Number one, Surf Ninjas. This movie delivers absolutely everything that it sets out to deliver. Surfing ninjas. It's also got a kid who gets like a magical game gear that can see into the future and he becomes some kind of like kid, magical kid ninja prophet. And Rob Schneider is in this movie for some reason. It's an absurd movie uh, and it's excellent. Uh, number two, Three Ninjas. There were actually three of these movies. It was very popular. Uh, it's kind of like a Home Alone movie about three siblings who dress up like ninjas and get into absurd hijinks with criminals who, in the real world, would probably just murder them in cold blood. But that'd be a short movie, so instead of child murder, you get like cool ninja masks and like lessons about friendship and stuff. Uh, number three, Mortal Kombat, which I've heard is actually a shot-for-shot -shot remake of Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. Uh, fun facts or lie I just made up, possibly. Uh, there's like six different ninjas in this movie, so I'm going to count it on this list of movies about ninjas. Mortal Kombat used to have a cartoon and three movies and like toys and all this stuff. I realize Mortal Kombat is popular again today, but it's nothing like it was in the 90s. It was like Mortal Kombat, Highlander, and that Simpsons arcade game. Uh, number four, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first one. Unlike the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles you have now, which is like this Enter the Spider-Verse good production quality thing. The 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles wore terrifying Five Nights at Freddy's costumes that looked like monsters that were deeply unsettling to the human soul. Uh, nevertheless, it had everything we wanted in a Turtles movie. It had Shredder, Ooze, or Goo, or whatever it was called, and uh, Pizza, and a wise rat. Number one, Beverly Hills Ninja. Uh, Chris Farley plays a ninja in a movie about the unconventional logistics of being a ninja with a weight problem. I'm 110% sure that this movie was the sole inspiration for Paul Blart Mall Cop. And like Paul Blart Mall Cop, this movie is unexpectedly heartwarming. Tommy Boy is a better Chris Farley movie than this, but this is my opportunity to do a Chris Farley tribute, so I'm going to take it. Uh, Chris Farley was a huge talent, and he is still missed today. Like and subscribe.